The pandemic has crippled the Lebanese economy. Although the number of infections have been kept under control, there are other crises which have consumed the nation. And all these, Dr. Firas Abiyad, the director of the Rafiq Hariri University Hospital, has emerged as a voice of reason. In the span of a few weeks, he's risen from almost near obscurity to national fame. But how is he controlling the pandemic in Lebanon? Our next report tells you that. Lebanon has been rocked by violent street protests and runaway inflation. It is in the grip of its worst economic crisis since the end of the civil war in 1990. And the coronavirus crisis could not have come at a worse time. The first case was reported back in February. As the lockdown was imposed, the sluggish economy collapsed. A part of the capital city started witnessing 15-hour-long power outages. It is in these circumstances that 52-year-old Dr. Firas Abiyad, director of the Rafiq Hariri University Hospital, has emerged as a point of reference in the fight against the coronavirus. Through his informed tweets, he busts misinformation on COVID-19. And through online campaigns, he has raised funding and aid for public health institutions. How are we going to solve the corona crisis and how are we going to solve the economic crisis? Truly the situation of those in charge has become quite difficult. Because if he says he wants to forget about the economy and just focus on the coronavirus, OK, maybe we can control it, but many people will die from hunger. And if we said corona is not our concern and we want to focus on the economy, many people will die of the virus. And that's why I believe the primary problem or the greatest challenge for officials is how to walk the line between the two. With a population of under 7 million, Lebanon has reported over 4,800 infections and 62 deaths. But Dr. Abiyad fears that the infection can rise dramatically in autumn. Till a vaccine or a cure is found, the way to keep the lid on infections is through ensuring that everyone wears a mask and adheres to social distancing. Let's be honest. Lebanon's abilities are not high. That's why, in my opinion, we shouldn't be focusing on containment. We should focus on protection. Protection through limiting the cases of COVID-19. Because if the cases increase, our hospitals will fill up quickly. There is no doubt. Years of political and sectarian strife has paralyzed the Lebanese administration. Lockdown restrictions are extremely unpopular. People have lost their livelihoods. But the coronavirus pandemic is nowhere near its end. The challenge now is to ensure that there is no second wave of infections in the country. Bureau Report, Beyond World is One.